Mark Whipple talked yesterday. Uh, we'll just start with these two. Uh, first one, who, whose decision is it if Casey Thompson starts? Yeah, I don't. As I said, I don't. You know, if somebody's hurt. I never would, never would play a guy. And I did once when I was at UMass, and it was a mistake. You know, where he was a little groggy, and it's like a, <clears throat> a first series, and I went like, "You're not right," and he said, "Yeah." You know, so. Uh, um, and I was there when Colt McCoy got hurt on a Thursday night when, when Silverback James Harrison hit him. And then, you know, he went into the game and didn't, you know, and that's when that whole thing. But we, we don't ever want you know, anybody to ever do something out of harm. That's not, you know, whether it's the NFL or here, I've never seen anything like that, you know. So, um, yeah, to hurt, to hurt. So, w- once again, he said, it, it, well, the question was, whose decision is it? If Casey plays, yeah, I don't. As I said, I don't. You know, if somebody's hurt. I never would, never would play a guy. That was the answer, basically, and then he broke off into broke off to everything else. You know what, man? I don't. Um, why not just simply say we'll make that decision as a team, as a staff? Yeah. Why not? Why not just make that decision right there, Raf? Why, why not just, just Nick, what are your thoughts? I, I, got frustrated. I, simply say? I, I got frustrated because here's the deal. Um, and, and I understand it's in a weird time because you have a a coach who is who's technically still the interim, right? Still the interim. You have an offensive coordinator that has has kind of been put up against the fire these last couple of weeks. And I and I I think rightfully so. Um it, it's a weird situation, one that you maybe you didn't forecast at the beginning of the season, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we all saw that Frost was going to get fired. Eventually, here's the deal, though. Um, you still, as a fan, you still want to know that they're on the same page. You still want to know that the coach or have an, I believe that the coaching staff might be on the same page. And one thing we've heard from Mickey Joseph the entire time has been, I'm not going to decide if a guy is good enough to go. I'm not going to. It's going to be up to the guy. It's going to be up to the player. And it's going to be up to the doctors, the medical team. Mm-hmm. Because he goes, uh, if if I don't know how Casey Thompson's feeling, basically. But then now we hear we have Mark Whipple basically just downplaying it and wiping it off his shoulder going, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Talks about how he never plays a guy hurt. But if you go back to two games ago against Illinois, <laughs> Chubba Purdy was hurt. Yeah. Chubba Purdy didn't practice the entire week. And so here's the thing, guys. It's about to get a little more little he- more heated and and Rico and I went deep into this conversation yesterday but it was it was you know it, it was the, the the idea of Logan Smothers maybe being a gamer <laughs> was brought up and some guys and sometimes guys just don't practice as well but when they get into the game they start playing better right and and, and Mickey Joseph said to this uh on Tuesday that listen Logan maybe I, I believe he could just be a gamer but he still needs to practice better Mark Whipple was asked about that yesterday. Hey, Mickey Joseph said that maybe Logan Smothers was a gamer. What are your thoughts on it? And here's what Mark Whipple had to say. Well, tell Mickey he should be at the defensive side more. <laughs> no, he's been in. No, the, the, he, he really had his best week of practice. And both those guys have had their best week this week. Chubb has been a lot more consistent thrown at, throughout. But I told that to Logan. I, I said, I. I had a lot of respect for you. It's not easy to, you know, maybe start a game and be third, but he stepped up during practice and he's continued that. And, uh, you know, he's certainly been around here longer than Chubba does has, but all of the guys have gotten, both those guys have gotten great support from, from their teammates. Now I want to get your guys' thoughts because notice how the question was spe- specifically about Logan Smothers being a gamer and how quick Mark Whipple is to bring up Chubba Purdy and how he's toe to toe with Logan Smothers. No, he's been in. No, the, the, he, he really had his best week of practice. And both those guys have had their best week this week. Chubb has been a lot more consistent thrown at, th- throughout. But And so I'm really going to bite my tongue in a bit. No, no, no. Don't do it, AD. <laughs> because here's the thing is now going into this game against oh, Michigan. We've seen statistically <laughs> Logan Smothers has played better. He's yeah. completed a higher percentage percentage of his passes. And and. Comfort, comfortability in the pocket, Chubba Purdy just doesn't have it yet. Yet. And I said that yet. I, I make that very clear. 
And yet here we are going into number three, Michigan. And I have little to no doubt in my mind that Chubba Purdy is starting. Little to no doubt that Chubba Purdy is going to start. I agree. And because be, Just because of this. Just I, because I and, and Rico's getting more and, Rico's getting more of the sound bites. And so we'll hear the rest of the press conference. Thank you, Rico. Thanks, Rico. But here's the deal. I it, you go back to this the stubbornness. It and just it's feels so like they're, frustrating. they're just I don't know why it is, but it just seems like they're so afraid to like play or start Logan. I to me, that's I get that. And it and it might just be the thing, you know, coaches have their players, and maybe Chubba is, you know hit Whipple's guy you know it it happens in all sports and all and because it just seems like every time you never can it's almost like they can't give a full compliment to Logan or else they feel bad that maybe maybe Chubb's feelings might be hurt or something it's Raph, weird. and that's what pisses me off uh, okay you know what uh -oh. Oh, here it is here it is <laughs> here we go here it is hold on hold on hold on let's see what this is all right <laughs> what do we got <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm so tired of the comments that are so disconcerting to the team. I don't like it. I don't like it. If you don't see eye to eye with your coach, you have that conversation. You don't have two separate uh, press conferences where your head guy is saying one thing and you say another. To me, it's disrespectful. I'm just being honest. Yeah. And I don't care who the head coach is. Yeah. I don't care. Because these, this, this, you know, this best we can practice. I'm tired of hearing the best we can practice. Been hearing that for five years, but yet the same results, the same stubbornness, the same uh, uh, inability, or not even inability, because not inability, the same unwillingness to get out of your own way and to put those kids in positions to, to be successful. Yep. I don't get it. And then you just kind of laugh it off like it's it's not a big deal. Mickey needs to be on the defense more. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, man, I'm I, telling you, man. That was I, I that was interesting. It. Yeah. And, and to make a comment like that. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, and, and I will when you already have a fragile stable program. You say something like that. It's also very telling. Um, and I don't want to make this the bash Mark Whipple hour, but no, it's not. But it's, we'll call it's it truth, not, truth, truth. When you truth. make and comments exactly, like that. Exactly. And that's where I'm like, if you go back and watch it. Because obviously these press conferences have video. And if you go back and watch it, the amount of times that Mark Whipple rolls his eyes when Logan Smothers is brought up is, I don't is, it, is glaring. It's, it's glaring. It's glaring. And he almost looks at Smothers like he's a joke. Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, yes, we know you recruited Purdy. And this is, and for, and first of all, too, this is not a bash on Chaba. No. It's not no. a bash on him at all. He's just not been the better of the two right now. And, and that's what I said yesterday is – if if Logan Smothers goes out there against Michigan and does ex looks the exact same way as Chubba looked as, has looked the last two games or plays bad, turns over the football, whatever, then yeah, take him out because there, there needs to be that that there needs to be that that equal not equal because I don't want I don't want to say that there needs to be a, a certain standard that's held exactly. and you do not get rewarded no matter who it is you don't get rewarded for not doing your job huh. that that's the thing. But if you once again, if you look at the statistics from this season, now obviously Chubba Purdy has gotten more opportunities. We all understand that he's thrown the ball like twenty three more times than than Logan Smothers has. Um, he has ten more passing yards on the season, although he's thrown it. You know, like I said, he's completed eleven more passes, has ten more yards passing than Logan Smothers does. Um, both of them don't have a touchdown. Logan Smothers doesn't have an interception. Chubba Purdy has three. Statistically. In this game now, going into Michigan, one of the most important things for your program and to even give you guys a, a remote shot on Saturday, you have to protect the football. It's a must. And what uh, – and, and maybe you're grasping at straws. Maybe – and, and here's the thing. It, it, maybe the, the margin between the two guys is minuscule, and, and that's fine. But between the two guys, the guy that's protected the ball more has been Logan Smothers. Huh. And, and once again, that's three interceptions – that Chubba Purdy has thrown so far, and you know what? Nick? Well, it's just, and then you don't even you don't even look at like the end of last week's game. Like that's what that's what confuses the heck out of me. Yeah, is at the end of the game last week, he's he's taking the team down the field. He throws a great pass on the the fourth down. Should have been caught, which they you know yeah. they recognize mm -hmm. that. Yep. But he did everything he could to the, bring Nebraska back. The, the pass. So in all, my eyes, if yeah. Casey can't start this week, it's got to be Logan because he's the one that. 
that had the team moving at the end of the game. The, well, not even at the end. The pass, the one drive that they put him in, the pass to Oliver Martin, maybe a tad behind him, should have been caught. He would have continued on that drive. Logan Smothers would have. And then who knows what would have happened. But after that first drive where Oliver Martin dropped the ball on a three-yard out route, oh. they pull him. Yeah, and they put him back in. They put Chubba Purdy back in. And then in. we go, what, five three and outs after there, that? There's, there's five, six, three, three, six, three, six, six straight three, three and outs. Three and outs six, where, three, once again, outs. your running back that had five and a half yards per carry at the time did not get a single touch. You had ten. You gave your running back, and I, it's still so glaring and, and mind-boggling, is you gave your running back ten touches. In the first quarter, and you got out to a 10 to 0 lead. And yet, in the second half, in the third and fourth quarter combined, you gave him six. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not like you were down 25 points right. where you had to throw the ball the entire time. Right. And even if you were, you need some sort of, of complimentary football. Yeah especially when your running back is averaging that per carry. Well then then too for the second straight week. Second and then you week. look at you look at second the week. you look at the first drive of that game. And I was I was loving like it kind of I remember saying this I said it's kind of reminiscent to the old Nebraska you had tackles pulling you had you had you were you had some creativity to your running game and in the second half yeah he didn't have as many yards rushing but the creativity in the running game to me was like uh read option well and handoff and that was it that first drive of the game, I mean, the creativity they had in the running game, I was like, wow, this is great. Stick with this all game. Minnesota's not gonna, not even going to know what's going to come out of them. Switch up formations a little bit. You know, just well, when, when Nebraska, on their toes. When Nebraska got into a red zone, obviously, right, guys? So think about it this way. When, and correct me if I'm wrong because you, you guys obviously know football better than I do. When you're in the red zone, free, field shrinks, right? Things move a little quicker. There's a lot less, lot less area that the, the defense has to cover. All right, you have to be a little more precise in the red zone, especially within the ten. So, what did we do last week? You go to the triple option inside the red zone. Nebraska went to the triple option, yeah. and who have we been told is the better runner of the two? Now we did see Chubba is able to use his legs, but who have we been told is the better runner of the two? Logan Smothers. Logan. So then, when you come out, and that worked in the first half last week, it got you a touch. It helped you get a touchdown. Last week, mm. it helped you get into the red zone. The triple option did the last two weeks. It did. Yeah. And yet in the second half, when you're up 10 to zero, you don't only go away from the run with your with totally Anthony Grant with Anthony Grant. You're you. You pass the ball. It, it, you go. You go 75, 25 pass run. I'm kind of glad I'm not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> it, it's it's I mean, my it's it's mind pressure. boggling my blood pressure it just I, I need back i need to take my blood pressure pill still this morning man oh lord what is our break <laughs> <laughs> i i, I just it, yeah. it, like it, and it, here's the deal um it is disgusting if it's a matter of a personal vendetta 